Austin Cutlery. It's, it's hopping over here. We'll show you this stuff in a minute, but right now it's the CJRB line. We're with Russell. What up? How's it going? It's doing good. We are, okay. we are tired. It's only day two and we're exhausted. Oh yeah, it's, it's yeah. not even halfway through the show yet. Okay, they've got these all in order. We're, Frankie and I are familiar with a few of these, yes. but there's definitely some new ones here. I want to pan down as well. A lot of the different variations. Okay, this brand, some of you will already know, is the, well, this is the budget brand for artisan cutlery, and they're doing some really good stuff. See, we got a couple of videos out now. And what would you say the range is, like 35 to $60? Depending, so I've seen it go as low as 35 but on okay. average, $35 to $40 for okay. okay. any of these. Maybe right. with the exception of the copper one. Okay. Some, Maybe the aluminum too. Some yeah. really good prices for what you get here. Okay, so Frankie and I, we're familiar with, let's see, the Centros. Yes. That's the carbon fiber Centros. The Agro Crag. The Agro Crag, or just favorite. the Crag, yes. yeah. Yes. yeah. Was it the Taiga? Taiga. Taiga, okay, and that's the Tala. Yes. All right. Okay. What do you guys like? And feel free to comment, of course. Yeah, check out the copper version. Okay, what? which model is this one? So that's the Rampart. So Rampart? Kind of a, just Rampart. a chunky, relatively thin Warncliffe with a fairly minimized slipper tab. Yeah. Super simple. Real beater though. Really? Catches my eye. Oh, and I like that. There's other colors other than the copper, so that comes in a black G10 and a gray G10 and a carbon fiber as well. Very cool. It's yeah, the rampart. The aluminum version of this the agave dish. is really neat. That's all. It's kind of a really like natural feel, kind of an organic shapes to it. The aluminum is our first time doing this kind of like aluminum alloy on there. It does keep it light. It yeah. gives kind of like a little orange peel texture to it. It does look it's like cool it too. It, yeah. is very, it is a little slippery. I think we we're gonna see about maybe adding a little bit of texture to it, but it does look really good. Yeah, exactly. So it's our first time even trying that out. It, it's pretty sweet. I like it. it, is, it is I like it. Well, what's what's the price on something like this? So I think they're more like 45-ish, like a $10 difference. Wow. Yeah, you guys are going to need to check out one of, uh, check out one that catches your eye, but you'll see what we mean, the, the quality for the money. I really like this little one. Yes. What is this one called? That's the Feldspar, the small Feldspar. Feldspar. Oh, I, and then the large. For like me, I could not think of a good name for that guy. I'm like, uh. Feldspar, cool. We're gonna, yeah. we're gonna go with it. And I have been loving the jade lately. Yeah, it's well, actually, really popular. I just got a story from one of our uh, dealers. Pretty much, as soon as they put all the jade up, they all sold because people who want yeah. customizer knives can dye the jade. In fact, like, exactly. Yeah. Wow. I've done something similar. Like I dyed my centrus. There you go. Totally works. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh -huh. I like the color of the jade though. Yes. I, I just like it. I'm okay. I'm coming around. I'm coming I know around. You are. Okay. Yeah. Alright, some good looking stuff from them. Available at Blade HQ and, well, a lot of retailers really. Yeah, I like the gold pivot color that you're doing on it too. It's a nice accent. I really it, like it. Really I is really nice. like the way it makes things pop. Yeah. It good does. looking blade. Good looking blade. Okay, cool stuff. Yeah, cool stuff from CJRB. Look for more of the of the specific knife models on our channel during 2020. Awesome stuff. Yeah, look at that. Cool, cool. Thank you. You're very welcome. Yep. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.